PGC right now and we're gonna go and meet a friend. Looks like a uh, So we've got the kitchen with the chef and his sous, sous chef over here. Fellow half Filipino. Fellow half Filipino. Yeah, we're really excited to meet her. Her name is Mama Yana. We're gonna meet her and her little boy Phoenix today, and I'm so excited for the boys to make a new friend. Try and document today. Hi. Come on then, Jude, should we go in? Try not to touch it. What a mic. Oi, oi. You gotta try to do it without letting it beep. Oh, Benji's good. Wow. What well on, Benj? Good off steady hands. Keep your hands on. Keep your hands on. Keep them on. On here. What's in the mirror? Whoa, look, look in the mirror, Judah. Look at yourself in the mirror. Look. Look at your hair. Look at your hair. Look at your hair. Oh. Oh. Okay, you can do the electric <laughs> hair. I know. It sounds scary. Oh. Wow, oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, look at your hair.
So we've got the kitchen with the chef and his sous chef over here. What do we think of the Mind Museum? Amazing! Amazing! Super duper amazing! Super duper amazing! amazing. Come again, Mum, come again? what do you reckon? to do a, a like a summary of the day with meeting Yana and Phoenix and also going to the Mind Museum. Actually, it was very busy going back home. Um, it was a bit stressful. Google Maps some ways um, led us in weird directions. Um, I don't know if it's because, I don't know. I think it was a problem with my phone to be honest because every time it told us to turn left, there was no left turning or it just led us so far down the road and it made us do like a U-turn but you know what, in the end we got home 30 minutes later but we arrived safely and that's the important thing. And also it was totally worth it, we got to make new friends. Um, so basically the Mind Museum guys, the Mind Museum. It was a really good museum as far as museums go. Like in England you get to go in for free obviously um, and we used to go quite often because of that reason. But, you know, obviously because you have to pay here, it's a bit pricier than we can afford. Um, and we can't do that every month, but it was worth it. For adult, for an adult ticket, it was like 625 pesos. And for a kid, like a child who's below the height, because they had like a height um, measurement thing. If they're below, it's free. 
but if they're above that, you obviously have to pay the price for your child ticket, which was 475 pesos. But guys, I have to let you guys know this. If you guys do not know already and you want to go to the My Museum, if it's your birthday month, um, you get to go in for free. But you have to bring proof of proof of your birth. Um, obviously, I don't carry around Judah's birth certificate or passport everywhere I go, so I didn't have something to show them, and we had to pay his price. So that was unfortunate. But you know, I just want to let you guys know if you guys don't know already, so that you guys can save some money. Obviously, if if it is your birth month, I think that it was worth it because there's so much to do there, especially for kids. Like the boys loved it. If you guys want a day out in BGC, I think it's a really good place to go. So much to do there, so much to see. Like the boys' favorite thing to do there was step on lava, the lava steps, um, which was like sensory. And they love to play with Yana. Like Yana was like their ambulance person, like he would, <laughs> ambulance person, um, the paramedic who would come and like fix their legs and make them robots. They enjoyed that so much. They enjoyed building blocks um, and watching the sensory machine move, like to see what would happen if an earthquake came. When the blocks fell, they enjoyed that. They just enjoyed pretending to cook for us, me and Yana. Um, so yeah, that was just so much fun. I definitely think with kids on a day out going to BGC, that is a really good activity to go to. It's so nice to watch the boys make new friends and um, you know, we kind of, we discovered something really interesting yesterday actually. Like we knew when we met each other that we kind of, we came from the same part of the UK. So my husband grew up in Folkestone and we lived in Folkestone for a year and a bit. And then Yana is from Folkestone. And so I was like, we were just like, where, where in Folkestone did you live? And then I told her where I lived and she's like, wait, is that the road next to my road? And then we looked on Google Maps and it was like, wow. We li were like basically neighbors. Um, and I never really, I don't think I ever saw her. We never bumped into each other. And here we are in the Philippines meeting each other it's just crazy the best part of the day obviously was meeting yana and phoenix and making new friends with them um it's definitely a really special connection um that we lived so close to each other and we're both half filipino i'm very grateful that um, we could meet up that day and yeah hopefully we could meet up again soon if you guys um don't know already yana ha actually has um her own vlogs that she does um, and her, I'll link down her um, YouTube um, in, the, in the description box below and you'll see it here as well. Like and subscribe! Anyways.